marriage is either is working or is not working there is usually not a blue a gray ground learn what your partner defines as love and love them as per that mm. that is the most amazing way to enjoy love that your wife ama your husband be your number one friend mm. and your number one confidant everyone how are you doing i know you're keeping well and of course we know that easter is around the corner and you guys are celebrating and we are here celebrating jesus of course as we celebrate one institution that he has created to actually represent what salvation is and the relationship we have between him which is marriage we have had a very good discussion in our previous show with our amazing guests who are again here with us today and they are going to take it off in a much better way today to explain more of what we expect as we get to anticipate marriage and even prepare for marriage because it's a journey to get there and as much as we want to get there we need to know what we are getting into so before we get to the depth of the matter i want them to introduce themselves once again mm -hmm. i know you know these faces but again i want them to just for the sake of the new people for them to introduce themselves hi guys so my name is Maureen Kavata Nzungu This is my amazing husband <coughs> Meshak Nzungu. Mm -hmm. Did I just introduce him? <laughs> yeah, but it's Thank good you. to be, it's good to be here today. Yeah. Mm. We are glad to be back. I was just asking myself, yeah. Eugene and Nzungu. Yes. Is it that God had to fulfill the the purpose in you? <laughs> <laughs> Now that the man was not able to get the color because <laughs> of Nzungu. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Oh, yes. uh, thank you and uh, we we are glad you've introduced him so that we can now get off yeah. to the next topic. Yes. I yeah. know um time is not really on our side mm. and we have so much. So mm. we've been discussing a lot previously about what to expect in marriage. Today we want to delve deep into the area of what are some of the realities of mm. marriage that come and hit you so hard that you have to adjust to that maybe we didn't mm. expect yeah. or something that young people do not even envision when yeah. they are dating and miss them yeah. in the point of preparation mm. so tell us the realities of marriage the journey and the things we need to expect even as we date and you know anticipate marriage wow. mm. uh, thank you so much mother for having <laughs> us once again for yet another program we are excited mm -hmm. we are happy to be here to talk about the realities of marriage mm -hmm because uh it is something that comes as a surprise mm. to some people yeah it may be they do not see it coming yes. but even with all that i can say that you can as well predict mm. what you'll see in marriage yeah uh from the picture of what you had in relationship mm. because basically how you you how you're living with your fiance mm -hmm. in dating season mm. will as somehow spilled over to marriage though mm. there will come some challenges mm. and some situation which allow, allow you to adjust yourself mm. but even with all that marriage is either is working mm -hmm. or is not working there is usually not a blue a gray ground mm. either your marriage is working or it is not working and you can know when your marriage is working or not working mm. when your marriage is working your spouse will be happy and they will express it mm. that they are happy mm. and they are excited and not just to watch the things we see in public mm. more so in the private yes if your spouse like my wife is not able to be happy mm. and excited more in the private and fulfilled where you've and fulfilled yeah. in more than the public yes. then that marriage is not working true it is also good that you keep on uh, grading your marriage yeah. mm. you ask your wife are you still excited i, I remember i usually ask my wife so often are you mm. still happy to be married to me Amen. <laughs> so you should be asking you should be able to grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still excited? Are you excited in marriage? Yeah. I should ask her. Yeah. So you should be able even to grade your marriage. Mm -hmm. Ask your spouse, "Are you excited? <clears throat> Are you still enjoying?" Yeah. And also build some capacity and strength to receive the response which will come. Mm, true, Because they I might agree. be so frank to tell you I'm just enduring. I'm just enduring. Yeah, 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 but uh, <laughs> yeah. which is true because we get tested along the way yeah. every learning moment. Yes, yes. Why don't we test ourselves yes. even any season of our marriage? Mm. Yes. You never go through high school for instance or even campus without being tested in a span of three months. Yeah. yeah. For them to see how the progress is. Yes. Yeah. It's important. Yes. Yeah. So it's true there will be some changes mother there will be some changes uh, when when you enter into marriage you realize it's, it's a complete 
mm. environment you are not used to the first change is that you are not living with this person yeah you are living in a separate place mm -hmm. uh, this one is from another separate place you just mm. met for one hour but now you are living for 24 hours mm. yeah. especially ile ile time ya corona ilikuwa ndio mnaishi nikam mfungiwa ndani mnafungiwa pamoja so the first change which will come is mm. living together mm. now you will have a, an extended period yeah. of living with this character which you chose yeah. mm. you see and maybe have they have said during dating they can put on it's just two hours i can put mm. on something i can put forward my good leg mm -hmm. and then nikirudi kwangu ninayerudisha so you have a elongated time yeah. to live with this person so if this character of this person does not bless you mm. you will have a some hard time so yeah. that is one of the reality of living together for a long time mm. that is the benefit of having your wife or your fiance as your friend because you will be cordial you will enjoy their fellowship mm -hmm. you will enjoy their companionship mm -hmm. you will not be bored easily mm -hmm. by their fellowship mm -hmm. But yeah, so, even as you say they will not get bored is it yeah, do yeah. you get bored at some point you feel like i mean i don't feel like you know get, getting bored with each other yeah you know simply mm. yeah it happens mm. it happens mm. but it it also determines with the foundation which you had in marriage mm. like as for me with my wife we can stay i think the fellowship which i love most is for my wife mm. I get bored by any friendship if mm -hmm. we go to sit somewhere with my friends to discuss I get bored there is a time limit I cannot extend if it goes to 3 hours I'm bored but I can live with my wife for a long time I enjoy his fellowship wow. because we have grown to be like minded we's mm -hmm. now 7 years since I, we, I met my wife we started dating mm -hmm. 2015 we married 2019 today is 7 years mm -hmm. so I have never been bored with my, with her mm -hmm. I still enjoy her company so it depends also with Are you friends? Mm. Ama you are just mates. Are you, mm. are you friends or you are just married? Mm -hmm. Are you just guys who met and you married or you are you are friends? You like you you see you like the fellowship and the companionship mm -hmm. of your friend. Mm. So it is always good I usually advise let your wife mm. ama your husband be your number one friend yes. and your number one confident. Mm. Yeah. I will get back to you and you will define what friendship is. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Keep on insisting friendship. friendship yes. Friendship. Mm. yes. Want to know what aspect of friendship and especially for men because men need friendship more than women. Women mm, yeah. we need companionship, yeah. Yeah. connection and attention. Yeah. But for men you know you yeah. will define that for us. So yeah. I want to direct this to you specifically mm -hmm. even um as a woman yeah. because um <clears throat> women get married maybe they expect what are some of the realities when it comes to the responsibilities of a woman in marriage and uh, like you were mentioning earlier you know mm -hmm. um, now when the children come in yeah, yeah. etc and of course the roles that you know, are specifically for a woman okay mm -hmm. yeah. so just to begin i think it it is also important first before mm. you get into the marriage mm -hmm. to at least have some knowledge of what will be my role as a wife mm -hmm. what will be my role as a husband mm -hmm. but because there will be more roles more roles than make up and look good for the husband yes. more roles than cook for the husband mm. there, there are a diverse number of roles mm. that pertain when now you get into the institution itself mm. like for instance um in the marriage itself you know as my husband was saying now it's a 24 hours thing mm. like now here there's there's the cooking bit that is the this part of that mm. there is the part of his physical appearance let mm. me talk for example in the side of the women mm -hmm. probably some of the things they may not expect mm. and they'll come to meet them there mm. there is the bit of his purpose mm -hmm. Mm. his vision what he really needs to achieve in life you know those are some of the aspects that we think when you get to the marriage as long as i look good and what he saw he still sees we are good to go Mm. but you're forgetting there's a purpose that you will get into the marriage and yeah. realize by the way this man wanted to become this yes by the way this man has this kind of a vision, vision that he wants to achieve mm. and now you have to provide support for help. that vision mm. you have to provide help for mm. that vision mm. so those are some of the realities that really hit so hard mm. like for example my husband is so into ministry mm. he's so given into ministry like if he's if for example Uh, an opportunity let's say for work is placed here and another one for ministry mm. he will his heart will really be inclined to the one for ministry mm. so some of the realities will be like for example i'll be like hey but the work we, we need yeah. this work you know mm. but his heart is inclined to this so those are some of the things that really kick in and someone is like oh my god mm. so you mm. mean 
it was like this. I thought he will be working, mm. bringing money, the way he used to do. All mm, that can be found mm. in, in even the ministry aspect. Yeah. But it's about understanding that now this is what his heart is inclined to. Mm. So the reality that I'm really pushing is that there are things that come which mm. are more than what you envisioned when you look at him physically. Mm. Like mm. you probably you envisioned like having him looking good, cooking for him, you know, those roles that are outlined even in weddings. Yeah. Mm. There are those things that they really outline, but there are some mm. that are left out. Yeah. Then there are also personal adjustments that you will have to make pertaining now to the institution itself. When babies come, you will have to adjust to make sure the babies are getting the emotional uh, presence that they need from you. The husband is equally getting that from you, mm. for example. If it's the husband, the babies are feeling the presence of the father, the wife is also feeling the presence of the father. Mm. In terms of even when you have to go somewhere, your husband mm. could be having a different plan mm. that, that is not aligned to what you want to do. So you have always to be in agreement. Mm. As much as the other time it was easy, and it's not, a, it's not supposed to be a struggle. Yeah. It's not supposed to be, oh my God, who you are medically? And now I have mm. to call and say, I want to go with my friends. Mm. Now I have to call and say, I need to do this. No, it's supposed to flow. Mm. Because mm. now you have come, and that is something so many youth struggle with. Mm. I had a friend who had a challenge, like she just gets home, mm. tells the husband, babe, babe, I'm going to Mombasa tomorrow. And it always used to bring an issue. Mm. And she was like, no, I did not lose my freedom when I got married. Mm. You get. Mm. So it doesn't have to be a point of, we are not losing our freedom. Yeah. We are just into this institution yes. whereby you are with another person yes. who you are accountable to. Yes. Accountable in terms of finances, mm. accountable in terms of where you are, where you're going, mm -hmm. what you're doing. Mm. And not because of dictatorship, but mm. because of the, mm. okay. the state of the, the order mm. of the institution. Yeah, yeah, so course. those are some of the things that mm. really kick in. There's mm. a vision to support. Mm. There are things, even the way you dress, mm. <laughs> there are things <laughs> I wear and I find them nice, but my husband is like, I wish you could do this. Mm. You get True. myself, there's a way I just like him yes. looking. And like basically I, there's more to yes, yourself now. There's more to it's no longer now. just you. It's so not you. You can't consider you alone. It's yes. all about now the both of you. Yes, yes. So that definitely brings in the fact that you have to 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 consider them actually even more than you do yourself yeah, yeah. So that is what yeah. god expects us to learn to become yeah. more selfless yes yeah. than we are now when True. you get to marriage yes. now as we move to the aspect of friendship mm -hmm. there's so much i want us to talk about mm -hmm. the time is already gone mm -hmm. uh, just uh, mention friendship on a very short notice mm -hmm. and of course one reality mm -hmm. the intimacy part mm -hmm. where yeah. we need to really tell these guys mm -hmm. the reality is this. <laughs> mm -hmm. So talk yeah. about friendship and intimacy. Okay, friendship in marriage. Mm. Um, is, um, as I'd said earlier, maybe is uh, friendship makes the backbone mm. of marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even when uh, different views mm. and perspective come on board, as my wife was saying, mm. it is friendship that is going to undo it because now you are dealing with a friend. Mm. There's a way you are cordial. There's a way you are mm. easy with your friend. Mm. And then you are not dealing with an enemy. Mm. Even now when some, he does, she does something, mm. you deal with her as a friend. Mm -hmm. She deals with me as a friend. Yes. So I can comfortably say that friendship happens to be the very lifeline, yes. the backbone of mm. marriage. That Marriage, I don't, I'm not sure whether marriage can succeed if the two are not friends. Mm. Yeah, because you will always keep on harmonizing perspectives, harmonizing different ideas. Mm. Because you see, my wife is from another background. Mm. She was raised by different parents. I was raised from a different place. We will always have a divergent idea. You will always have some, I see it like this. Mm. I see it like this. So it is the friendship which will cause mm. has to be able to solve issues without tension, mm. without uh, disagreement, mm. without going extended disagreements, mm. which affect marriage so much. Mm. So <coughs> friendship, building friendship, mm. taking that to build that friendship, mm. it, is that w it is what will give backbone to that marriage, mm. which will stay it. Even in times of storms, mm. friends click together. Mm. In times of issues, friends come together. They mm. don't separate. Because mm. actually so, the Bible talks about that, yeah. you know. That, you know, the moment people don't understand the word yeah. is actually speaking mm. yeah. to married people, mm. yeah. 
and uh, it's not just about the person at church yeah, yeah. <laughs> because when the bible says a a a a a brother will stick mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. there in her times that a friend stick yeah. closer than a yeah. brother mm -hmm. means that you know a brother and husband and a wife are relatives yeah. yes but if, when there's friendship mm -hmm. when there's inside that more. relativity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bonding there's is more. deeper there's yeah. more yeah. actually yeah. in that hard time it will yeah. be better to handle it when yeah. there's friendship yeah, when beyond there's friendship. when there's just the husband and in yes. your titles yes. uh, in, in your lives. So yeah. I really agree. And of mm. course, the aspects of friendship like openness. Yeah. You know, can only be open to somebody mm. who's a friend to you. Because yes. yeah. yes. you can only be genuine with a person who's friend, a friend to you. And yes. that is when you can experience the best of marriage. Yes. Because you're free with this person. Yes. You want the best exactly. for them. You want to just support them beyond loving exactly. and having emotions for them. Mm. Like really, you want to be there in yes. every part of their yes. life. Mm. Yes. Wow. So we can oh. move on to intimacy. Yes. Because if you can build on that. Yeah, yeah, just to talk about intimacy and I will, will also talk about adjustments which come with the family. Mm -hmm. But let, let me say something concerning intimacy. Mm -hmm. That uh, intimacy has been confined in marriage. Mm -hmm. Sex has been given of God to be enjoyed in the confines of marriage. Mm -hmm. So it is there. Yeah, it is what um, keeps marriage alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is what keeps the marriage alive. Mm -hmm. So, but there is an idea which people maybe have before they get into marriage. They think, oh God, this thing is just all about that. Mm -hmm. The way I feel now, we shall be doing it morning until evening. Mm -hmm. We will not be leaving the house mm -hmm. with this person. Mm -hmm. So that's, that is what is in there before mm -hmm. marriage. Yes. But when you enter into marriage, you realize that there are so many other things mm -hmm. which have to be taken care of, mm -hmm. which has to be handled which cannot allow you. Even sometimes in Africa, but it, it has been long it's since been we long. <laughs> <laughs> So it is not something which, <laughs> so you see that they are, that the young people who are married, they think when you will just see the house, mm -hmm. you just park your car and you run it <laughs> to do it. It is all about this, it's all about this. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I don't know how somebody can fail to do this thing can yeah. move for one day. Yeah. So that is the imagination. Even that was my imagination before marriage. I <laughs> mm. thought, ah, somebody should just do this thing every mm. day. So it is there, it is what gives what gives life, what makes the marriage enjoyable. Mm. It is pleasurable, it is, it is God's gift mm. to hard flavor mm. to marriage, mm. to hard pleasure to marriage. But it is not that which happens every day. Mm. Though it should be regular to keep the marriage moving. Mm. Yeah, so that's my view concerning the same. Maybe my wife can say something before we talk about that. Yeah, I think when my husband says there are several things to take care of, mm. it doesn't mean because the, the, the sex aspect is not like the one of the major things in the marriage. Mm. Mm. Actually, to some extent it is, mm. but there, there, are, there are those realities, actually, that's what we are really discussing. Yeah. Mm. There are times you're tired. Mm. There are times you, you, there are so many realities. Mm. There are times probably one of you has traveled. Mm. There are times you just get home and the most you can do is bond. Like you're just, about the babies. yeah, you're yeah, talking about I mean. the babies here, yeah, demands, yeah. <laughs> you know. Mm. There's so much that, and it's understandable for any young person. Mm. At the time that they are figuring out marriage, I mean, they, especially those who remain chaste, they've, they've looked forward to this thing mm. all their lives. Mm. So there's no way you can tell them, like, now I have the permission to this. Mm. What do you mean? Like, it, it doesn't work this way. Mm. So those are some of the realities. So that once you are there, you don't wonder, why is it not happening all the time as I imagine? Mm. Do we have issues? Because mm. it can cause people to think, ah, I think we are not in good terms. Yeah, just because when it's we are not, not happening, having it, we are not, not in, in good, good terms. terms. Because they don't understand when it gets to marriage. You know, yes. some of them have actually involve mm -hmm. themselves before and that's the yeah. actually worst case because mm -hmm. of course in relationships it happens automatically yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but in marriage it happens intentionally yeah yes, it has to be an intentional thing mm -hmm. so you don't expect it to just be something that happens without mm -hmm. you understanding it has to take that intentionality yes. yeah. commitment to it because yes. like you're saying there's so many things that crowd mm -hmm. when you get Shroud, into yeah. like, you're young, when you're young yeah. only have the two of you no big responsibilities mm -hmm. and maybe yeah, even yeah, you are yeah, available yeah, yeah. and that is why you, you find it's easy because maybe you don't even have responsibilities. The only yeah. thing you think exactly. about is that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you get to marriage, things come in. So it's yeah. something to do with a lot of being intentional. Mm -hmm. And also just to add on, 
probably when they are thinking about it before marriage, they are mm -hmm. thinking about it in terms of the urge, like what is pushing them, mm -hmm. the physical aspect of it. Mm -hmm. But in marriage, you realize it becomes more of an emotional thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's a way of bonding, it's a way. So now when someone is not in the marriage itself, it's expected that they will think. So when reality mm -hmm. comes and you realize there are times that you will be so emotionally like, I don't know mm. how to put it, in a way now you have sex. Mm. It's mm. different from before marriage, where you still, you just, you're just feeling the urge and thinking, yeah. ah, this is the thing now all the time. True. So mm. it's not wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. It's good to, for the viewers to know it's not, it's okay to find it that be very regular it's happening. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. It should be as regular as possible. Regular like, regular we're not possible. saying set off the list, yes. but of course try as much as you can to yeah. take yeah. it. I mean, this, uh, it's already too much for us to get. We need to go for a short break and think about that first. Yeah. <laughs> because this is a reality that we need to prepare for. And uh, mm -hmm. we are hoping that you guys actually are getting a tit bit of what marriage can actually come with. So stay tuned. We will be right back after this break. Marriage is either is working or is not working. There is usually not a blue, uh, gray ground. Learn what your partner defines as love and love them as per that. Mm -hmm. That is the most amazing way to enjoy love. Let your wife, Ama your husband, be your number one friend yes. and your number one confidant. Welcome back guys. I hope you have had and you have taken a sip of some water because we need we are going higher. <laughs> we are getting deeper. So at this point, we are going to be mentioning a few things about family expectations. There's somebody who has once said that you don't get just married to the individual. Mm -hmm. You are blending mm -hmm. in a family, which is the bigger picture that many people do not see. Because this person didn't come alone, came from a family. And we cannot dispute the fact that as much as they live, mm -hmm. we're not, we not saying they are leaving their family completely. We are saying priorities are changing. But we remember the family aspect still remains. So we want to really talk about what are some of the things that, um, of course, young people should prepare for, and mm -hmm. what, are some, what are some of the solutions even to those things, because mm -hmm. um, they are very hefty. Sometimes parents need finances from us, mm -hmm. and they feel like now that you're married, you have more. They don't understand yeah. when you're married, it becomes less, <laughs> yeah. because yeah, responsibilities yeah. are increasing. Mm -hmm. And right mm -hmm. now you're saying like you have a daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much even apart from you too, that is mm. going to her. Yeah. There's mm. the future, mm. there's investing, I mean. And of course, now we go to also the, 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 the living together, mm. um, hosting relatives and mm. so on and so forth. Mm. So much more, you can take it from there. Wow, oh, thank you, Madam. Mm. Yeah, we are doing well. Mm. So the issue of uh, family, uh, it will come in the place where we are talking about adjustments. Mm. Yeah, it is true that uh, we have come from different families those are two families, but one from this family, another one from this family forms another indi in, uh, independent mm -hmm. family. But especially in our, in our culture, very few people understand whether this one is completely a different family. Mm -hmm. They will always strive to maintain the ties which they had before mm -hmm. with you. They will always want to maintain a position while you and I. Mm -hmm. But now here we have a spouse who has come in. Mm -hmm. And they, are, they have taken their position. Now it is, the, it is God, spouse, and then the others. Yeah. But now they want to remain where they are. Especially when there was a deeper emotional connection with yeah. the family where we come from. Our parents, mothers, fathers, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. And uh, all a deeper financial dependence. They usually feel uh, now I think things have changed. Mm -hmm. Because maybe the finance is not coming the way it was coming before. Mm -hmm. Before maybe... At the end month, I was getting half of, her, of his salary mm -hmm. or her salary, but now I'm not getting mm -hmm. because things have changed a bit. This mm -hmm. is a different family which has got a high financial demand. Mm -hmm. And maybe the young people ought to know that financial need and financial issue in marriages is, is real. Mm -hmm. You see, now we are in love before we enter into marriage. Mm -hmm. We don't think about how we are going to parent, mm -hmm. how we are going to raise children, mm -hmm. how we are going to pay school fees your children. Mm -hmm. But it is real when you cross over to marriage. Because now you are married, you will have to leave the house in your naishi. Mm -hmm. You go to maybe to a better one, which will be expensive. Your budget will be more higher. Like for me, my budget, Nikio Single, it was almost 2,000. Mm -hmm. But now it is almost times 20 mm -hmm. for the marriage. So you see that one financial strain. Mm -hmm. 
mm. but because of the love which we are enjoying in relationship we might not really consider mm. how we are going to live our financial life mm. thereafter and then now the family of issue now comes in into place because they want to maintain you they want to maintain you who you ndiye nilikuwa namtegemea and now the things are not working out the way they were working before they would like to maintain you so that is your family it has to be dealt with the young couple has to lay down parameters mm. and guidelines so now they are going to handle their families mm. how are we going to help them financially how are we going to chip in, into them because the truth is you are not just as you said you are not married to this person now you have entered into a relationship with you had yourself you had your family now you have entered into a relationship with another family yeah. which might have financial needs mm. and financial dependence on you mm. so you will have to chip in every time they need you to do something mm. even if it's not much you will have to do something so that part a young couple has to lay down parameters mm. how we are going to deal with our parents our the our, our, our families of origin mm. that is so key for a young couple mm. yes Wow, I want you to now talk about especially because the home yeah. the woman is really yeah, yeah. Ha- having the heart of the home mm-hmm. really sur- surrounds the woman. Mm. Um the hosting needs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The relatives coming in. Um what is your view on that and of course um tell these young people the reality about that bit. Yeah, I think I'll start with the the reality. <laughs> <laughs> so that it doesn't hit the way it hits for me. All right. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. so like in our case i think uh, 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 you know you are used to that moment when you're single probably his brothers would check into his house anytime mm. my my i only I, I, i'm in a family that is not really big so that was also another thing that was quite something because we only two in our family mm. they are nine in their family Whoa. so you see there are many yeah, people are to few. come <laughs> there are very few yeah. they are just nine <laughs> <laughs> so now when when the whole thing become the best reality to know is that there will there will always be an issue any time you say it's not possible to come to our place especially mm-hmm. from the woman's side because mm-hmm. anytime someone wants to come to our place my husband will definitely consult me mm-hmm. and that's a part that our parents don't don't really want Understand. to the reality mm-hmm. has not also hit them mm-hmm. that there's someone who needs to be informed or asked is it okay for someone to come over because probably that day you're living work late there are so many factors to consider by the time you say it's okay you can come over mm-hmm. it's okay you can be with us for this period of time or it's not okay at the moment you can come probably another time mm-hmm. so i think vi- the the relatives especially the other visitors you know at least it has mm-hmm. to come from both of you are green and planning mm-hmm. but relatives always feel it's our right to come to our brother's house mm-hmm. it's our right to come to I our sister's you. house you get mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it becomes quite something it's one reality that i'm telling you the truth can cause serious disagreements mm-hmm. among couples as mm-hmm. small as it seems mm-hmm. that phone call of natembea huko sahi naelekea kufika actually Our, mm-hmm. our siblings had yeah, that yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, yeah, like true. they'll just call and tell you i'm almost there <laughs> and you just have to deal with it with all the wisdom so how did you deal with that like really you can't chase someone but again yeah, you, you can't, can't allow them, them to create that precedent yes, like, yes. how do you bring the balance i'm telling you the first days it was a hassle but i thank god my husband somehow sorted what we did we agreed everyone to sort from their yeah, side because side. my mom will understand oh. my I I don't want to call it rebuke like she will understand me telling her mom this is how we prefer things done in our place True. more than from mm. him from mm. him she might take it like ay why is disrespecting me but <laughs> me when I tell her mom hey, me I'm feeling my brother needs to let us know before he comes at least uh, a few days before so that if we are available we can plan mm. and we can know how we will get home you see so we worked it that way my husband mm. laid it cle- made it clear at his side from our mom from his side told him mom i'm preferring that when my brother wants to come my sister wants to come please let us know mm. before mm. yeah so, like so we made it clear to them in terms of finances mm. we we made things clear we had to as mm. much as it brought quite of a uh, of a, uh, yeah some tension between us and our parents mm. we really had to make it clear because yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel like what you're saying is there needs to be synergy between yes. the two of you yes because mm. sometimes the real thing is for you at least you have um the fact that you set out how things need to be done yeah, yeah. which mm-hmm. which is very important mm. because if you don't of course somebody will do it not knowing mm. the expectation of the other party mm. yeah yeah and again the fact that um 
there are people out here by the mm. way who feel like it's a right for them mm. they don't mm. feel yeah. like they don't understand the space yes yeah. the space yes. and the mental pressure it even comes with especially for the woman yes to incorporate more responsibility yes. than mm. you yes mm. and they feel like it's a must for them to come yes i mean it's it's very very bad when that mm. happens mm. Mm. but at least you are trying to bring on board how mm. we need to handle this yeah. Yeah, work yeah, together yeah. this yeah. is your family yes. no one said that things have to be in a particular way yeah. mm. in fact they have a home mm -hmm. they have a mother mm -hmm. the mother needs to take care of their children mm. you will also have your children yeah. to take care of yeah. in the near future yeah. and so. and mother by the way you see this is a, a young family and uh, there is that aspect of there is a culture which i want to build in mm. my family there is the way I want my family to go. There is that catch I want to instill in my family. And like in our case, I remember, it was just a week, after to go to Jamaliza, a week after honeymoon. Mm. My brother wanted to come. He wanted to come and live with us. Mm. We have not even sorted some gifts. We have not opened the, and the house at that time was not as big as it is. Mm. So I just thought, how, how am I going to handle it? I decided to text him. Mwambie, for now you might not be able to come until we settle down, we do some things because we have just arrived from the honeymoon. Mm. Now, I, uh, I did that through a text. What he did, he forwarded that text to my mom mm. to tell him that uh, uh, may change. he is not allowing <laughs> people, visitors to go to that house. Now, I don't know how he communicated to my mom. Mm. Mom did not take that thing lightly. Mm. It was chaotic. He called me and he said, how comes you have changed in one week? You see, the, the way my, my, my wife was saying, they were used to coming. Mm. Anytime you don't have to call, you just need to knock, come. If your shoe is not well, just pick one, which is your, of your brother. Mm. Uh, if, they are, if you are shut, if you need a shirt and there is a shirt there, pick one and go to school with it. That is how they were used to. But now, af mm. there is somebody who, need, who needs to be consulted. Mm. Whether they are coming, are we hosting them? And then there are also dynamics which come into play. Do we have a room to host this person? Mm. When he comes at Alalawabi, do we have a budget for them? Mm. Yeah, because some of those relatives, when they come, they want you to take care of them. Mm. And when they are going, mm. they want something from mm. you. Yes. Maybe that thing you don't have. And when you don't give it to them, <laughs> it, will, it, will, it, will, it will not be okay with mm. them. They will think that this person has become very selfish. Mm. And I feel like, yeah. actually, the more you bring them into your space, the more you create room for quarrels. Yeah. Yes. And actually, exactly. preventing them from coming to your space. Exactly. True. Because there's a lot of familiarity that comes with mm. relating even with your mm. wife on a exactly. daily basis. Exactly. And you see, the, the small characters you see in her that you yes. can manage, mm. yes. your relative can't, exactly. they're not graced for her. Yes. Exactly. So yes. it becomes okay. a big yeah. issue. And mm. they don't understand that it will even take more mm. yeah. to live with somebody than... Yes even having space with them. Yes. Yeah, and another thing I've seen, which is very technical, is that you see our families have the notion uh, when they get married, they will change. The wife will change that man. Yeah. So my mother wants to make sure I'm not changed. <laughs> and then so... <laughs> and sure she's the most powerful the, woman. Is the yes. most powerful. <laughs> and then the, the mom to my wife is having a thought, that man will change my daughter. So mm. I also want, don't want to change. Mm. So whatever you just do, even if you say, uh, don't come today. That one will be interpreted. The they change. have begun. The mm. change has begun. <laughs> the change has begun. Don't they have been this changed. Amount of money. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I was she changed. Has yeah, she has refused. <laughs> No, she has been told not to send. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, he has been told not by to send her, me not money send. by her. Mm. So I, actually, I remember in that case, eh, I, my mom called me. He told me I think I have changed. My wife has changed me, and he called mom to my to my wife mm. and told him the children have changed. It's not the way they were before. It came round and it was so chaotic. So I was wondering, devil, why? Why have you just come in one week after marriage? What, have you ever been in a situation where this issue, what is causing all this boisterous yes. disagreement and tension? And then it was nothing. You just said, uh, don't come now. Maybe we'll tell you when to come. Mm. So there is that tension in your parents. My daughter would be changed, and I don't mm. want her to be changed. So I would try all my level best mm. to retain her so that I can get all the benefits I was getting, mm. the connection I was getting. I don't want her to be pulled away from me. I don't mm. want him to be pulled away from mm. me. So that tension is what now brings into play. Mm. Family and partner, they are not agreeing. Mm. But the best is always to set in place. Like for me, I told mom clearly, because there was that issue. Even my sister was telling me my, my, my wife has changed me. So I told my mom, listen, mom. Uh, 
anyone who stands on that side and my wife on another side, I will stand on the side of my wife. Mm. I will never stand with my family. Whether she's right or wrong. Whether, whether she's right or wrong, as long as she's standing on that side, mm. where she's standing is where I'm standing. So if my sister doesn't come to visit me because she thinks I was changed, that's okay. Mm. But I will be standing on the side of my wife. Mm. And, and even I, apart from yeah. that, Pasi, you, can, mm. you realize, mm. yeah. even when your wife doesn't have a reason, as yes. long as she's not comfortable doing it. Yeah. Exactly. Is that, and yeah, even when your husband the same mm. way, like mm. as long as yeah, yeah, too, how you call in that space mm. to do mm. yes. what you're requesting in terms of yes. posting, yes, you don't need to find reasons, yeah, yes. for, for yeah, her exactly. to you're really bringing more pressure and more issues because yeah. you know, especially for a woman, they might harbor mm. it mm. and then yeah. you know, yes. realize your yes. house is less peaceful, True. yeah, yeah, because every day she has to deal with something she wasn't yeah. prepared yes. for. Yeah, what is important for the health and continuity and life of this marriage? is my wife and I mm. and our approval and how she's feeling concerning it. Mm. If she is comfortable with it, mm. we are good to go. Mm. The others will just come peripherous. Mm. So as long as, even if she does not have reasons, even if I don't have reasons, if I'm not okay with it, mm. then we should flow with ourselves first. Mm. And then after our things have harmonized, mm -hmm. then now we can try to harmonize other things, external factors yeah. to this one of ours which you have harmonized. Mm. This one will help you to create a culture for the family. Mm. So from the word go, when those things came, I decided, okay, we are going to face it head on. I decided to tell them the plainly. This is how it shall be. I and my wife, mm. if you ask for my wife for money, let me just know that I'll be told first mm. before you are sent. True. So we had to put it into place. Mapema. They know wow. this is family. We are united. We will never have divergent ideas. I will never support my brother at mm. the cost of my wife. Mm. My wife will never support her mother in the, at the cost of myself. And that is the issue yeah. because yes. people, you know, supporting is not wrong. Yeah. But at the expense of your yeah. own first responsibility, yeah. I mean, that is not a balance. Yeah. Yeah. You are not yeah. really doing the right thing. Exactly. Because remember, as much as one of you is resenting what you're doing, the blessing yes. of God will not avail. It will not yes. avail. It sure. will not avail. You're sure. just yes. doing it for the sake of doing. Yeah. Mm. So, wow, this is just a big reality. And oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> time is already gone. I just want you to... Uh, to just say one thing mm -hmm. that you want to tell these young people mm -hmm. about marriage. Just one thing in a mm -hmm. few seconds. Okay. Yes, we can start with you, then finish with you, then we can conclude. Okay. okay. So just to say that as we have been really insisting that marriage is of God, it works, but it takes the two of you knowing who the other person really is. I think there's something before we finish that I really have to say that love your partner at their terms mm. not mm. at what you define love to be yes uh, i i really used to love buying my husband wow. gifts mm. and then just because it's not his love language <laughs> he would find himself just probably blessing someone with it mm. and i would be so mad <laughs> because how <laughs> my gift like all that yes yeah, so i realized probably i'm i'm loving him my way yeah mm. I am giving him gifts because gifts, and that's why I'm expecting if I bless him with something, I'm expecting him to hold it like so like this, the way I would hold when he buys me something. Yeah. So just to say, mm. once you're in the marriage, even mm. when you're dating, learn what your partner defines as love and love them as per that. Mm. That is the most amazing way to enjoy love. Mm. Otherwise, you will take so much time, you feel, I am loving them, I love you, but you don't see it, it's because you're loving them wrong. Wow, yes. love somebody mm. as part of terms. Yes, because yes. love here yeah, you're giving. Yeah. So if, if yeah. you have to give, you have to give what somebody needs. Yeah. It's yeah. not just giving unless you know. Wow. So Pasi, to you, very few words. Okay, so guys, I would like to tell you that marriage works mm. because uh, it, it is it is uh, <laughs> God's idea. Marriage works, and as I said, if it's working. Uh, your spouse will be happy and they will be able to express it. Mm. And much more, they will be able to express it in the private more than public. Mm. Because anyone can fake love in the public, but mm -hmm. in the private you will get to know the gist of what is happening. Mm. So marriage works. Mm. Don't shy away from marriage. It is pleasurable. It is the will of God for your life. And above all, put God first. The Bible says in the beginning, God. Mm. When God is in the foundation of marriage, you will always give joy. Remember the, the marriage which was in Cana. The guys were almost, the wine was finished, the mm. wine of joy was finished. Mm. But when Jesus was in, the Bible says Jesus and his disciples were invited into that marriage. Mm. 
you invite God into your marriage by checking on your relationship, mm. how you are building your relationship. You build trust. Wine. Sweeter yeah. wine. Wow. Sweeter wine. He gives mm. when the wine is finished. The couple was almost entering into a place of shame. Mm. Joy was finished. Mm. Yeah, but when Jesus came in, he did a miracle. The Bible says a cord of three is not easily broken. Mm. Remember the husband, the wife, the third cord is the God factor in your life. Mm. Involve God in your life. It is his idea and it will work in his standard. Otherwise, don't shy away from marriage. Mm. It is pleasurable. Wives are enjoyable. Mm. Husbands are pleasurable. And, and, and above all, it is the will of God for your life. Remember God said, it is not good for a man or for a woman to be alone. I will make him a helper, suitable for them. So even as you choose, be wise. God will give you wisdom mm. and it shall be well with your marriage. Amen. Otherwise, I wish you well and I wish you a happy Easter period. Yeah. Continue to, to enjoy and remember, Marriage was made to exemplify the relationship of Christ with the church. Mm -hmm. As we celebrate the death of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, husbands, you love your wives the way Christ loved the church and he gave himself for them. Mm -hmm. You can only love your wife by giving yourself. Mm -hmm. You can give her um, cards, you can buy her plots, True. but a wife will... A wife can summarize you just by being an loving husband, by being mm -hmm. absent because you have not given yourself mm. to her. She did not marry gifts, she married you. Mm. Thank you so Amazing. much. Wow, I mean, guys, there you have it. This is too much to handle. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, that is just a lot of wisdom that, guys, if you take time to, you know, stay there and listen to what you have mm. been told, you will realize there's so much, yeah. there's so much depth into mm -hmm. everything that has been mentioned but our prayer is that you will have a good journey and in the end you shall find the right person and with the help of god you shall soar higher because they, they can tell you the truth even people who are in 10 years in marriage mm -hmm. does it years in marriage doesn't actually prove yeah. that marriage is good mm -hmm. marriage is actually proven to be good through mm -hmm. a lifetime yes. that is the test of a real and lasting marriage not the number of years whether they are 50 sure. years in marriage yeah. the test of it is a lifetime mm. yes not the years so thank you very much for joining us today and thank you for always being with us every tuesday at 9 45 p.m here at wema tv keep us you know connected and talk to us we need to know if we are answering your questions we need to know what are some of the other things we need to talk about and we will always plug in and bring in what we want to hear may you have Thank you.